It turns out that this quantity here, which is called eta of j, the dual free expansion parameter, is not quite zero. When you expand a real gas into vacuum, the temperature goes down. So it, this is a very small number. And for ideal gases, eta j is equal to zero. This quantity is exactly zero for an ideal gas. And we'll discover why, eventually, it has to do with what we mean by an ideal gas, it turns out. And so for many, many problems, especially on exams, especially on this first exam, you will be able to say that this is the relationship between internal energy and temperature, that u is a function of temperature only. It doesn't matter what other things change, the value of the internal energy is only determined by temperature. But this is only true for an ideal gas, and it's approximately true for other things. So, delta U is equal to zero for all isothermal ideal gas processes. And it's approximately equal to zero for all real gas processes. And so that means that delta U is always calculable from CV of T dt for any ideal gas change. So even if work is done, it doesn't matter. All you care about is what, temperature, what was the temperature change. And this is always the easy way to calculate du. And it's often the easy way to calculate either Q or W using the first law. So since du is equal to Q plus W, and uh, uh, for an isothermal process, this is equal to 0, Q is equal to minus W. For an ideal gas, for an isothermal process simplifies your life enormously, you don't have to calculate much.